I mentioned my mom. I mentioned my dad. I mentioned my aunts, my uncles, my grandmother, my grandfather on my mom's side and my dad's side. I mentioned them all. The reason why I do that is because I'm trying to advance my case. Okay? I'm in the Crown Ward class action lawsuit. I was in a Facebook group. I'm talking with a person. The person, she asks me, okay, mom and dad, but what about aunts and uncles? The reason why I went into care is my mom and dad's fault. The reason why nobody else helped me bail me out of the child welfare system. Like my mom and dad, they're the, they're at fault for me going into care. But then aunts and uncles and grandmothers and grandfathers, they're at fault for not calling the children's aid society without my mother's consent or knowledge. They never did that. They never called. They never called the Sudbury Children's Aid Society and asked for me. They never did that behind my mother's back without her consent or knowledge. They never did that. Now, I only mention this to help advance my case. I thought to myself, and I think that if that woman can ask me a simple question, okay, mom and dad, but what about aunts and uncles? I thought to myself, and I think to myself, if she can ask me that, well then every class member can ask that. And Kosky Minsky LLP, Jonathan Patak, the law firm and the law, the law firm and the lawyer who's taking a lead on this case, Kosky Minsky LLP, Jonathan Patak, and the province. What I'm asking for is that my aunt writes a letter to the province. And to, to the province and to the law firm, Koski Minsky LLP, I'm asking that my aunt write a letter to them saying what she told me, that I was abused by Joe. And what I'm asking for is I'm not asking for financial compensation anymore. I've received that. Now, I would take more, but what I'm just asking for is I'm asking for unlimited ministry funding. You go to the Timmins Family Counseling Center and they say we offer six sessions covered by the ministry. After that, you have to pay $100 an hour. And I'm saying... Under this new agreement, it could be where under this new agreement, all you have to say is you're a crown ward and then um, they would check into it and they would go, okay, he's a crown ward, former crown ward, and he would get unlimited ministry funding. That's what I'm asking for.